Hi, everybody, and welcome to Unwind and Design Creative Studio. Today, we're going to be making a really cute landscape. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it as much as I will. Today, we're going to be working with a total of four brushes, starting off with our detail brush, which is the smallest one we have. Then we have a square brush, a background brush, and a round tip brush. So we're going to start first by turning over our canvas sideways, okay? We're going to have it in the horizontal way, and we're going to be using it that way, starting off with our large background brush. Notice I still have plenty of water in my brush. Remember, water is your friend with acrylic painting. It's going to help us let it flow a little bit more for the type of style that I use for my painting. And we're going to pick up a little bit of this white and some of this water. And we're going to add a little bit of a light blue. With this light blue, we're going to paint right across the center. And we're going to make this line horizontally from side to side, little by little, starting to paint our way towards the top. So we are going to pick up this blue paint and we're going to go from side to side, painting with that baby blue paint. We're going to add a little bit more white. Make it nice and soft. Going with some of that blue paint. Next, we're going to grab a little bit more of this just dark blue and a little bit of water. And we're going to start to paint with this dark blue on the bottom section. Once we're finished with that, we're going to pick up our square brush and we're going to get the color red and blue and we're going to mix it together. And look at how pretty it starts to give us a purple. With this purple, we're going to start at the end and we're going to bring a line coming down to where our water is. There's one line. Next to it, we're going to get a little bit more red and we're going to make it a little bit more red and we're making another line. This one, you can make it a little bit bigger if you want. Next, I'm going to get a little bit of white and red and I'm going to make another little line. Next, more red. Maybe this one's going to be way shorter. And notice how my colors are all changing. This one was red and blue, more red, more red, more white. If you want white, you're gonna get a lighter pink. You can also make your building a little bit bigger or you could add more blue if you want it a little bit darker again, look at that. From here, we're gonna make our line going to the right. And you can make another little building there. Look at that. Why not? Let's make a few more. That one's a little darker. And you know what? I'm going to go a little lighter again. I'm going to go a little smaller. Finally, I'm going to make that line. Then I'm going to get my pink or whatever color I have on my brush, whether it's purple, pink, or whatever color you have. And I'm going to make this section over here. From here, we're going to get our round tip brush and we're going to get some more of that purple, which is red and blue. So red and blue makes purple and we're going to start to add some purple grass. And 
And we're going to add it all on that line going up. We're going to make our brush going up, making little lines. You can put it to one side or you can put it to the other side. But we're just going and adding all of these lines on there. See that? If you want to make it a little lighter, you can pick up a little bit of white. And look at how it looks a little lighter with a little bit of that white. Once you get to this corner, you're going to get a little bit of that blue, more blue and more red, make it a little darker. And I'm going to press hard. And then I'm going to press light. I'm just coming in real quick and straightening up this line or these lines. After we do our little curve, I'm going to get more of that color and we're going to make two lines like that. On this line, I'm going to bring my brush and brush it down. Can you guess what we're painting? On the other side, we're going to curve the other way. Next, I'm going to make one more down here. And I'm also going to scratch the lines down. And I'm going to make one more down here. And I'm going to also scratch the lines going that way, curving that way. And a straight line with maybe two on the side. Again, if you want to add a little bit of white to make it look like it's popping, you can add a little bit of white right there. Look at that. So quick. The other thing we're going to do with this brush is we're going to get that white and we're going to start to add a little bit of white on the water. Look at that. We're going to add a little bit of white and we're just scratching it on the water very lightly. Look at that. We're making little lines and I still have a little bit of purple on my brush. So when I put the white, it's adding white with purple. We're also going to get a little bit of yellow and white. And you can start adding a couple of polka dots. Make it look like we have some windows. Tiny little polka dots, not too crazy. From here, we can also add a couple of lines going up. And we can get that dark blue and make some dark blue windows too, or purple ones. Look at that. Next, I'm going to get a little bit of white. Oops. And you know what? Let's use that. And I'm going to make a little bit of clouds in the background. Here's one cloud. Right here, I'm going to make a line and I'm going to make little bumps and bigger bumps and little bumps. And we're going to come in and we're going to paint in that cloud as well. You can wiggle the bottom if you want to. And you can make it look like the clouds are behind the city. Look at how cool that looks. If you want to add any colors to the back. Or to the water, you can add a little bit of orange, which is red and yellow. You can also add a couple of orange lines. Look at how pretty that starts to look with the orange there. Right? Doesn't that look so pretty? And since we're playing with orange, you can pick up a little bit of that yellow and white. And you can add a little sun in the back of one of these clouds. Look at that. And we're just going to make a couple of lines on the sides so it looks like it's super sunny.
you can also add a little bit of yellow to your tree and to your grass. You can add some to the bottom of your clouds too, or the top. You can add a couple of dots so it looks like it's a little shimmery. If you want to make these a little shiny, just add a couple of sparkles around some of these dots. And then finally, down here, we're going to put in our signature. After that, we're done. And there you go. Hopefully, you enjoyed this class as much as I did. And I look forward to painting with you guys next time. Bye.